My name is Eli Samora and I am from El Paso, Texas. I want to audition for The Voice because I've been trying to get on this show for a while now. I think this is my fourth time auditioning and this is the biggest platform you can go as a singer. Um, and I think the fact that I'm going to be on the show representing my Latino community is going to be a dream come true for me. My hometown is a border city, El Paso, Texas, and Ciudad Juarez. I actually grew up uh, half of my childhood in Mexico and half of my childhood in the U.S. So I am definitely grew up in a bicultural city, learning from both cultures and embracing both cultures. There's everyone rooting for me, all my entire family. My dad's a singer. He grew up singing in church, and um, I think... He's living through me, through this experience I'm going to have, and um, the fact that they're so proud of me, I think it's, gonna, it's just going to be a life-changing event for all of us. Oh my god, going through production of pandemic is insane. I remember the first, when we got there, we had to do two weeks of quarantine, we had to stay in our room the whole time, and you know, we have pixie glass all over, and we had to take COVID tests every two days, and I think production did a very good job of keeping us safe, but definitely it's gonna be, it was a learning experience for them, it was a learning experience for us, but at the end of the day, music is what connects to us, and the fact that music got us all together and we do it for the love for the music, um, I hope it translates and the, the audience enjoys it. My singing journey has been very different from everyone. I didn't grow up um, loving music, I actually grew up kind of like neglecting it. My whole entire family sings, so for me, I was like, the cool kid by not doing music and my dad would always force me to do it and he would always be like you have to sing it you have to do this and it wasn't until i was 15 years old where i sang on a high school on um, mother's day and i sang for my grandma and that was the first time that everyone heard me sing and and that moment that lighting and just that special moment is kind of it was a life-changing event for me that's where i decided to do music for the rest of my life i auditioned for like 10 different uh, music schools i ended up getting a scholarship for Berklee college of music and did four years, I graduated with my undergraduate degrees in music. I was the first, actually, college to graduate from my family, so that alone was the biggest accomplishment I had. And, you know, now I sing casinos, I sing at events, I sing at weddings, and everywhere I can go and I can sing, I'll do. My singing style is definitely a representation of the Mexican-American. I, I am very influenced with my roots, with my Mexican roots, and I'm very influenced with, you know, to all the uh, culture I've learned here from music and I think adapting and embracing both is what really um, it equals to what I'm, my singing style. Um, I love to sing in Spanglish, I love to sing in English, I love to sing in Spanish and and just a mixture of both and, and really grow from it and you know to emote. I'm a very emotional guy and I think it translates when I sing. Being on Team Kelly is probably the biggest dream come true. I. Ever since she got on the show, I was like, Team Kelly, there was no other option for me. Like, no other option since the beginning. And the fact when she turned and, and I just saw her, I like kind of panicked for a second. And I was like, oh my God, it's Kelly Clarkson. I've been admiring her for ever since she started her journey. And I think she came from a very similar background for me. And um, the fact that she's been through what we're going through and the fact that um, she she's such an emotional singer and she really cares for music. And I think it it translates. When you, when you hear Kelly Clarkson sing, you feel it. And I think that's the biggest blessing to be as a singer. And I hope when people hear me sing, they can really get me and understand me, have a feeling towards music. And musically speaking, I am very influenced by Juan Gabriel, which is actually my blind audition. Uh, he's the biggest Mexican legend there is and my biggest inspiration. If I can be 25% successful as him, I will be more than delighted to be. I think I would like to challenge myself by going outside the box a bit. I'm so used to singing uh, ballads. I am a very romantic and like sad songs and like that's what I do. It's my forte. It's what I love to sing. But I think it will be really fun to to sing something outside that and like sing something fun, sing something with movement that has more of a, a show performance type of thing. And um, I think the voice is gonna definitely gonna help me do that and grow on that. And I'm just so excited to see it. I'm so excited for the transformation I'm going to have from the beginning to the end. And I just hope you guys enjoy it as well. To win The Voice will be a dream come true, not only for me, but for hundreds and thousands of Hispanics that watch the show, that dream to be on the show. Um, I'm the only Hispanic on the show this season. And that fact alone, I think, means everything, that I was one of the chosen ones. Um, I just hope I make them proud. I hope they, they see through me and they see 
all the work and dedication it takes to be there and um, when you're there just embrace it and be proud of who you are it will take you far the fact that after all these years I actually got into the show for being myself and for singing what I sing and doing for what I love and you know never change who you are for anything and and I think I'm gonna be the proven of that once you see me on the show.